What's happening fellas, Crazy Brit here, we're back with some more action from the GTTCC, this time for race 2, uh, coming back at you from Tokyo, uh, so we'll quickly go through the grid and get this race underway, remember this is a reverse grid from the first race I did yesterday, so we'll see how, uh, how the action unfolds, so starting on pole is Rico in the Jag, then we have Mad Hatter in second, he's in the Viper, Choke is in third in the Ferrari, then we got Brucey in the Lambo starting fourth. Golden Brownie in the Ferrari starting in fifth. Then we're in Hepburn, Mr. Hepburn starting sixth in the uh, NSX. Then we've got another Ferrari of Raffo, he started in seventh. Down to wait for another Ferrari, P1 Rob. Then Mr. Aldo in another Ferrari, he started in ninth. Then we got Mutt in the Porsche, he started in tenth. B rated in eleventh from another, another NSX. Then Mr. Crow, another NSX, starting 12th. Then we got White Shark, Jim, he's starting in 13th with a Lambo. Then we got an Aston Martin of ADG, he's starting 14th. JRC in the McLaren, he's starting 15th. And then James in the Supra, he's starting 16th. So I think we'll ride on board with Mr. Golden Brownie and see how this race unfolds for the first lap. So we get the lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. And away we go. Brucey looks like he gets a great launch, but has nowhere to go. He gets from the outside to the inside. You see how it goes in the first corner. You've got Gordon Browning right behind him. He's looking for a place on the inside. Is he going to leave the room? He leaves a little bit of room. He goes on the outside. Oh, he touches the wall. There's Kale behind. A few cars get into him that puts Mad Hatter back down to 7th, he's losing speed. We've got the replay cameras now. So Mad Hatter's losing even more spots down to 9th, just nowhere for him to go as Bruzy hits the wall. And we come into the breakings, oh big accident! Oh let's see what happened there. So we'll go on board with him. So you can see everyone's coming past him because he lo loses the momentum from getting into the back of Brucey who hit the wall. Raffo's right behind him. Oh, he's close. Oh, he just moves over. It wasn't clear. Raffo was there. Didn't leave the space. Unfortunate for Mad Hatter there. And someone else goes into the wall as well. Oh, we've had some more chaos into the braking section. Let's see what happened there. So b rated is right behind Raffo. Gets clear of this accident. And doesn't break for the corner. Oh, and he's straight into everyone. There's carnage. P1 Rob's in the wall, Gordon Brownie's in the wall. Unfortunate mistake from uh, Mr. B rated there. Waits for Gordon Brownie and uh, Mad, as you see Mad Hatter's there just recovering after his accident. Very unfortunate for the guys there but we go back up to the top. Rico's leading the way from Chalky and Brucey. As we head now down into the tunnel on the back section of the track. Got to be careful of this track when pitting because the uh, pit stop is halfway around the track. So you've got to factor in that extra fuel that you may need. Let's come now down this long twisty section through the tunnel. You've got to be really careful if you don't get in the turning. As you can see, much right behind Brucey now. He's heading into the fir into the hairpin for the first time. You've got to get the braking right. Couple of lines you can go you can see Brucey, he goes wide, but he gets the drive. Out of the corner, gets the wide line, now he's uh, just gets pa back past Mutt, who's in fourth place. Brucey now coming down as we now come into this little last twisty section before the end of the lap. Oh, tags the, little, the wall a little bit again then. You see the cars feel free. Oh, there's a little bit of contact between Rico and Chalky. Oh, he tags the wall again, even more chaos. Unfortunate for the guys behind, Brucey obviously not maliciously trying to hit the wall and co uh, cause problems, but that's just the way this track goes. It's very tight. As you see the uh, lovely uh, bullet train going there in the background. Lovely scenery. You can't let yourself get too distracted though as the car's coming now through turn one. Brucey now falling back down to fourth. He's going to lose another position to Mutt on the, on the outside. He is. He's back down to fifth now. As you see all the kinds of cars lining up behind him to uh, take advantage of him losing speed. He's come now into the braking section for the uh, hair pit dock area for, for the second time. 
Bruce is on the outside. He's got Iceman all done. Hepburn on the inside. He's going to have to concede the position as they come through this little tight chicane. Gets on the inside. Oh, we've got more contact going on in the background. Oh, there's a lot more contact. Let's see what happened here. So we'll go on board with uh, ADG. You can see it's tight coming through this section. JLC gets into him, puts him into the wall. Then you've got P1 Rob, he gets into him. ADG, oh, he's gonna, oh, he doesn't save it. Oh, nearly saved it. Good job. Now there's chaos because he's facing the wrong way. And there's a roadblock in the court. JLC happily waiting for him. Good job by JLC. Great to see, but absolute chaos as they come through the tight section there. It's the unfortunate nature of the track now wrong with B-Red is coming through the tunnel with Gore and Brown and Nick side by side. They're trying to recover after coming through that roadblock. Great side by side action here as they come through this fast twisty section. We'll go back up to the top then. So White Shot Jim leading the way. He's going to lead from Rico. Rico's now down to third, fourth as they come through the section uh, just past the pits. Back up to the uh, last section of the track, you can see Hepburn now up into third. Bruce in nine to six, down into sixth place. As they come now through this fast flowing section, you've got to be careful, you've got to watch them walls because they come at you quick. White shot Jim leading the way from Mott, who's in second, Hepburn in third, Aldo in fourth now. With Chalky now down to fifth. Bruce he lost a couple of positions after the first two laps. Very unfortunate of him as we head on to lap three now. Not even five minutes gone in this tra in this race, and already a lot has happened. Absolute chaos around this track sometimes. Oh, Brosey looks like he gets into the wall again. Absolute dismal showing for Brosey so far. So I'll go back down to six then. So Rico's now into six. Bruce is down to eight with Crow up into seventh now. So. Pretty bad showing for Brucey at the minute, he's uh, having a few issues. So coming to the dock section now, you can see Brucey on the inside, Crow covering off. Oh, that might be a penalty for Mr. Brucey there. He's on the inside of Rico, didn't want to uh, try and move him over. Is he going to get a penalty for that? He's come now through this right hand. Uh, very fast corner, but you've got to beware of the wall on the outside. I don't think he got a penalty for that, but it was mighty close. So stay with his action right here, because this is uh, a lot of cars in one space. Brucey now down to eight for he's got James right behind him in ninth. <coughs> he's coming now through this flash flowing section under the tunnel, under the, un, under the overpass. We go back up to the front as you see this happen. So White Shot Jim goes through. Then we've got Aldo on the inside. He's followed by Hepburn. Oh, a little bit of a bump there. Managed to keep the place though. Hepburn in third. Chalky fourth. Schumacher fourth, fifth. The Crow now in sixth. Rico down to seventh. Brucey down to eighth. You see James there. He's in ninth. He's making his way up nicely. P1 Robin tenth. Then we've got a little bit of a gap to Raffle in eleventh. Gordon Brown is following him in twelfth. Then we've got B-rated now, 13 still with Gordon Brown as they go nearly side by side. He's following through this corner. He's hoping and praying he doesn't cause hit the wall and cause another little uh, accident. Does he get through the corner okay? It looks like it's close, but he does. Let's go back up to the lead then. So White Shot Jim now pulling a gap on the rest of the field. He's trying to break away. Close with the wall there. Aldo in second, but he's got Hepburn right behind him in third. He's going to try and look for a way to get past him. As we head down to the hairpin at the dock area, down this straight, you can see Bruce is now back up into seventh with Infinity James in eighth. Something's happened to Rico. He might have hit a wall somewhere. You can see this gaggle of cars still making headway. Gap's getting closer now to White Shark Jim. See the tyres squealing for grip as they come through that corner. It looks like Infinity James has got past uh, Brucey. Brucey now back down to 8th. He's going to lose the place down to P1 Rob. The side by side as they come through the tight right hander. A little bit banked so they can take a lot more speed than they usually could. As they now come down to the tunnel, he's still got P1 Rob behind him. 
we'll jump back up to the front. White shot, Jim leading the way now through the twisted section in the tunnel under the underpass. Hepburn in second now, got past Aldo. We'll head into the uh, into the next hairpin. Four cars all lined the stone, no under a blanket. Who's going to come out on top on this hairpin? You see the Scottish flag on uh, Hepburn's uh, spoiler there. So Hepburn leads then out of that corner, he's up into second. Then we've got Aldo now in third, but he's got Chalky and the crow right behind him. Can't make a mistake, it's this next section here. Oh, a little bit of jittering from Chalky there, gets a little bit wide. It's going to get a bit tight in this corner now. Oh, three of them hit the wall there. Looks like Brucey might have hit the wall again. Aldo looks, uh, sorry, Peel and Rob might have got into the back of him, but Peel and Rob now got the place on him. So Brucey now down to ninth place from uh, second, third. Beautiful angles as they all come thundering around the track as we head now down downhill again, down to the dock area. Let's go back to the back, ADG and JLC still recovering from that second lap incident. Back up to the front here, white shot Jim goes through, then we got the rest of the gaggle of cars. James now up into fifth, he's doing a really good job of uh, making places. The little boy in me wants to make car noises as they come past the camera angle there. Now through the bank right hand corner. Oh, no one touched the wall there, that's fine. As we thunder now down into the tunnel. Through the Tista section we go. Hepburn still leading his gaggler cars in second. As they thunder around the track, here we come to near Hepburn. Is anything going to happen here? See Hepburn in the middle of the track. Are we going to have any contact? Doesn't look like it. Aldo gets a thunderous drive out of the corner. Gets back up into second on the inside of Hepburn. That was a really good move there. So Hepburn down to four, third. Crow in fourth. Infinity James on fifth on the back of this gaggle of cars. Chalky in sixth place now. P1 Rob into seventh. Brucey now in eighth place still after losing uh, multiple positions. Can they make any headway through these couple of next next couple of corners? Is he going to touch the wall on the outside? You see the bump and scrape. So he hits the wall again. That's going to give momentum to Mark, who's behind him. Doesn't look like he's got any sort of momentum, though, as he's still in ninth place. He might be fuel saving. He might be going for the no stop here at this uh, this track, so we'll have to watch out for it. He hits the wall, a little bit of a glance there, as you can see the spark flying off. We've got Raffo into 10th. He's leading this next little gangle of cars, trying to catch up. You've got Rico behind him, B rated in 12th now, Golden Brownie behind him. And then you've got JLC and Ada G slowly catching up to this pack, but we go back up to the lead. White shot Jim as we head down to the nighttime stage of this race. The headlights are on. Aldo still in second place, managed to keep, but the Crows got into third place now past Hepburn, so he must have had a little dip, bit of a uh, a dive into the uh, dock hairpin. Hepburn now down to fourth, but he's still in this little gallery of cars. James right behind him in fifth place. He's weighing up the options. Are we going to see guys start to pit? I know that we are going to have to have a pit stop for the fuel on this uh, this race. So let's see what James does. We'll go on board with him. It's got oh, P1 Rob gets it wrong. Go, oh, he managed to save it, but that was a big hit there. So Crow goes into the pits. Then James doesn't pit this time. He's got Chalky right behind him. Follow him in the Ferrari, there's a little gap back to Brucey. He's now in six after P1 Rob had his uh, little bit of a moment with the wall and the crow pitted. Early pit stop from the crow then. Not even uh, 15 minutes in, halfway into the race yet. 
So you see P1 Rob coming through the section, following Brucey. Just uh, managing the throttle as they come through this section. Is he going to hit the wall? Oh, he has a little bit of a glance, but Brucey doesn't hit the wall that time, so I think he's learnt from his early mistakes. But as you can see, the field is broken up now into two sections. We've got Raffo in eighth place after making up a few spots now. Schumacher down to ninth. Then we've got Rico now up in, back up into 10th with B Raid in 11th, followed by Gordon Brownie in 12th. Then we've got ADG. A little bit of a gap now. JRC might have pitted as well. Yeah, I do believe he's pitted as well, so he's took an early pit stop as well. So we'll see how it plays out with these, these guys who decide to pit early. You see White Shot Jim still leading the way. Still that gap to Aldor. Hepburn in third place, followed by Infinity James now up into fourth. Chalky down to fifth. Oh, a little bit of a glance on the wall. Brucey comes through. He's in sixth place, trying to catch up to these guys. You see the scratches and scrapes on his car. I'll go back up to the front. Let's see if anyone's going to decide to pit now. So I'll come through this twi tight, twisted section. Sorry. Let's see if uh, White Shot Jim decides to pit, give him a bit of screen time. He's in first place, leading the way. He's got that big gap in f uh, behind him now, so not doing too bad. He doesn't pit this time. Is Aldo going to go in the pits? Nope, he doesn't pit. It looks like Bruce here and James is pitting, though. No, nope. Not this time. Bruce here comes round in sixth place. He's pretty much in no man's land now, but he's getting caught ever so slightly by Rafa in the Ferrari in 7th. Then we've got P1 Rob in the Ferrari in 8th. But in ninth place, still uh, still plugging away. But he's caught, being caught by Rico. Now he's right behind him. B rated in 11th. Not sure what happened to Gorman Brown. He's right with B rated, so... Oh, he's still with B rated, sorry. Sorry, that's my mistake. B rated's there, yeah. ADG now catching up to this pack, followed by the Crow in 14th, he's slightly catching up now. JLC 15th, still lagging behind a little bit. And back up to the front then. Fastest lap so far is a 204.7 by P1 Rob. You see that gap there between White Shark Jim and uh, Iceman Aldo. Iceman now coming down to the dock, hairpin, he's got a little big gap to third place as well now, so he's breaking away. Hepburn just coming through the corner. Is there contact here? No, there's no contact. It looked like James was going to go for a lunch there, but decide out of it. So still line of stern for these guys. Falling around. Bruce is catching, though. He's in sixth place. He's catching that gap. He's got Raffo right behind him. He's come down through the, through the uh, cambered corner. Still in sixth place doing a, a good uh, recovery drive from those early mistakes but his soft tyres has taken a beating on the front left see if he can make any headway we go back up to the front end so white shot Jim coming through the hairpin Ice Minaldo he's coming down to the hairpin is he going to put this time? no he decides not to Hepburn he's coming down Chalky is coming through the thing and for the corner, sir. Infinity James is in the pits then, and so is Brucey. Rico coming around the corner, he's in 8th place now, made up a few positions. B rated also, he's coming through, he's back up, up into 8th now, followed by Gorn and Brownie. James and Bruce is still in the pit. P1 Rob's coming past, he's going to make a place up on these guys. Guys coming out of the pits now, is the Crow going to be able to get onto these guys? He doesn't, so Brucey and James undercutted. The Crow from the later pit stop and Bruce had made a position on James as well and not sure whether he put slightly less fuel in and whatnot but he's make, made a pass on the, and James in the pits so I have to keep an eye on what Brucey does in the uh, latter stages of the race as we're completely into night time now you can see the neon signs beautiful scenes from the Tokyo track you see the trains still going past we're back up to the front we go we're coming down to the dock hairpin, then White Shark Jim still in the way, still got that gap. 
Iceman out on second. He's coming through. You can see the brake rotors now glowing in the in the night time. Hepburn in third. He's still doing a good job. Fourth is Chalky. Doing a great job after the uh, earlier wall contact that he had in the first couple of laps. Then we got Raffo in put to fifth now. Six is Rico in that jag. In the jag. Coming now through the bank right hander. He's got Mutt right behind him. Don't know if Mutt's uh, fuel saving or not, or whether he just doesn't have the speed in that Porsche. But he's getting caught by B Raid and Corbin and Brownie are still together behind him as they come down through the twister section. P1 Robin puts 10th. Followed by ADG, who's got past Bruce, who's in front of Bruce, he's sorry, still. I'm not sure if he's going to pit this lap. We'll go on board with uh, P1 Rob, see if he's going to pit. He's got the indicator going for some reason, so he might be pitting this lap. We'll go on board with him because his camera angles are terrible. It looks like he's going to pit. Oh, oh, he cuts the line and gets the penalty. That's not going to be good for him. So ADG's into the pits, that puts Brucey and James back up into 10th and 11th. They're going to be able to try and catch the group ahead now. So top guys are still not pitting. As White Shot Jim goes through in first place. Second is Aldo. And then we got a little gap to Bru uh, Hepburn in third place. Then Chalky in fourth. You can see these guys have uh, lost touch with each other now. There's a bit of uh, spacing out now. Mr. Raffle in fifth place, he's coming through the next little corner. Through uh, turn one, sorry. Now down the uh, long straight down to the dock area. Rico still in sixth place, he's going to be wanting to come in the pit soon because he's uh, low on fuel, getting low on fuel. B Raid also in seventh. Golden Brownie in eighth. Then we've got Mutt in ninth. Followed by Bruce and James in tenth and eleventh. After doing the pit stop, these guys are making headway now. The Crow right behind them in 12th. ADG 13th. A little bit of a gap between him and the Crow, uh, but looks like JLC is caught up to him, so these guys can start drafting off each other and hopefully making some time. P1 Robin 15th. After that, serving the penalty from cutting the line, he's still got the indicator going, but very unlucky for him. Forgot about, must have forgot about the pit line uh, penalty and uh, opted to serve the penalty. Back up to the front then. We've got White Shot Jim. He's flashing on fuel now. Is he going to go in the pit? He does. And he cuts the line as well. Aldo, is he coming into the pits? He does it as well. Everyone's cutting the line and uh, getting the penalty then. So Hepburn's in. Chalky's in. Raffo, is he coming in the pits? He does as well and he gets the penalty. So does Rico. So B rated up into first then after that everyone pits. Golden Brownie is second. White Shot Jim's got a penalty. He's come out of the pits in third. We've got Mutt. He's not pitted. He's in fourth. Then we've got Hepburn fifth. Uh, he didn't get a penalty. So uh, good showing from him not getting a penalty. Ice Minaldo, he got the penalty of three seconds. Here's Brucey and Infinity James. Infinity James has got half a second penalty. I'm not sure how he got that. But they're going almost side by side for this corner now. Does anyone touch the wall? I don't think anyone does, but now it's getting a bit more hectic. As you've got guys coming off to the left now. They've got penalties. Brucey doesn't have a penalty, so he's going to make heads and tails over these guys now. He's back up into sixth place. So, a little bit of a... Uh, little bit of a tough time in the first early stages of this uh, race but he's managed to pull it back out now he's back up into sixth place right behind Hepburn is he going to try and make a move into the next couple of uh, couple of corners he's right behind him as we go down the straight they're going around Mutt who's not got the speed they're almost side by side as they're coming to the dock hairpin now Brucey looks like he goes a little bit wide around Mutt. Mutt's on his inside is he going to be able to get past Dunn in this next couple of corners he doesn't stick behind him. Can he get the drive off the corner though and get around him? He's going on the in outside, he gets the pass done. Mutt Schumacher pulls him behind him. 
So Brucey now up into fifth then. So great showing behind him, but he's got a gaggle of cars behind him. He's coming now down into the tunnel section. So we'll go back up to the front then. Golden Brown is in first. He must have got a pass on B-Raid somewhere. But great job from him. All these guys going to pit now. Surely they're going to have to pit. Golden Brownie doesn't pit, but B rated does. So Golden Brownie going for another lap then. That's going to be really close on the fuel. B rated into the pits for a quick splash and dash. So White Shot Jim now back up into second. Hepburn back into third. Then we got the Crow in fourth. He's managed to get around Brucey and James. Not sure where he's done that, but great job from him. James in fifth place now, he's got past Brucey, so Brucey must have hit a wall somewhere or just not got the turning or braking that he desired. But he's back down to sixth place now, we've got Chalky right behind him in seventh. Then we've got Mutt in eighth, being hassled by Aldo right behind him. Then we've got tenth place is Raffo with B-rated now out the pits right behind him, so uh, B-rated now battling with another Vodafone car. Rico struggling in 12. Not sure what's happened to his race so far, whether he's put too much fuel in the pits again or had some uh, issues around the course, but he's getting uh, overtook by JLC and ADG. Let's come down through the turn one, down the long straight, down to the dock area. We're all into the last six minutes of this race. So I'll see what happens from here and out. And then we've got P1 Rob lacking behind in 15th. But back up to the front then we've got Golden Brownie. His fuel's flashing at him. Surely he's going to have to pit on this last uh, on this lap now. Hepburn second. Glances the wall. That's going to give Crow the momentum through the tunnel straight. Is he going to be able to get the move done on him? They're going side by side for the tunnel. Very nerve wracking going side by side here. Hepburn gets a little bit of a. Uh, doesn't get the turn he uh, wanted to do, so he gets a bit wide. Stays it out of the wall though. So you got Hepburn in third. James now up into fourth with Bruce in fifth, but he's got half a second penalty. That's going to really uh, hinder him on the uh, start finish straight. He's got White Shot Jim on his inside. Joke is going to try and come past as well, but he doesn't get the move done. So Bruce is still holding station in fifth place, but he's going to lose that place uh, on the start finish straight, if not before. As he come into the last section now, you see his tyres are really suffering as well. So Chalky in six right behind him. He's probably going to be in fifth after this nest, after the start finish straight. P1 still got a fastest lap, 204.7. So Brucey saves his penalty, pulls over to the left hand side. And then we've got Aldo. Is he uh, going to make a move on Brucey as he come down for the first turn? He's getting a bit uh, close again between the top few guys. Seven places all under a blanket. Back to eighth place, we've got Raffo leading away from B rated. Mutt and Golden Brownie as well, trying to make a move on Mutt as well. He's going to be able to get it done, he is, as they come now down the straight into a tunnel, down to the dock area, hairpin. We will go up to the front as we speak. Crow leading the way now in first place, followed by Hepburn in second. He's coming under fire from White Shot Jim is right behind him. Chalk is in fourth, followed by James in fifth. Then we've got Brucey in sixth place. He's holding on to the back of these guys. He's got Aldo right behind him. Fuel is starting to flash for him now though. So he's gonna have to try and help and try and fuel save as we get to the end of this race. So uh, check everyone's fuel now. So we've got the Crow first, he's got pretty good fuel as we speak. Same with White Shot Jim. Hepburn's flashing. Oh, actually, the Crow and White Shot Jim have changed tyres. That's why they're so fast. That's why they've been able to, be able to get the position. So great showing from the two guys who've changed tyres. You see, uh, Choke has changed tyres as well. But Hepburn hasn't. So this is interesting. Split of strategies. Hepburn's in third now, but he hasn't he hasn't changed tyres, so 
We'll see how this fun folds. Chalky, he's changed tyres, he's in fourth place. James, he has, he's changed tyres, he's in fifth. That's why he's been able to get the uh, jump on Brucey. That's why Brucey come out in front of James, because he didn't pit. He didn't, I mean, he didn't change tyres, sorry. So, it'd be interesting to see where these two guys finish. He's still on the back of James. So, interestingly, he's doing well on those tyres. He's got the hazards going for some reason. Not sure why that is, but he's lost a gap now to James, so... A little bit of an issue there for uh, for Brucey. Uh, Ice Minaldo, he's changed tyres, but real low on the fuel now. Raffo's changed tyres, he's low on the fuel. b Red doesn't look like he's changed tyres. All these guys are getting low on the fuel. Interestingly, the guys that back didn't change tyres as well, so... Uh, but Rico did. And P1 Rob did, but he's got damage in, in 15th place, I'm looking for him. Back up to the front then. We go to the uh, to the leaders. Crows coming through the dock area. Oh, very close with the wall there. White Shark Jim in second. Then we got Chalky in third. We're coming to the last few laps of this race now. Can Chalky hold on to this third place? He's got Hepburn and James right behind him. Bruce is lagging behind in sixth place. So he's not part of this battle. So it's Chalky, Hepburn and James. All under a blanket. Three cars. Who's going to get that last podium spot? It's pretty said and done with uh, the two leaders. If nothing, no mistakes happen from them two. But this is where the battle is. This is where we want to focus. The battle for third place. You see Chalky go in defence. He's got oh, the inside line. Hepburn tries to go on the inside of him. Doesn't get the break in. A little bit of a touch. Oh no, they're both on the wall. It ended in tears. Let's go back and see what happened here. We'll go on board with Hepburn. So you can see we're coming down to the hairpin. You see Chalky going defensive. Hepburn gets it done on the brakes. Chalky goes wide. Hepburn tries to get the turn in. Doesn't he? Tags him on the back. They're both in the wall. Chalky's on the other side of the wall. And you see Brucey. He's coming past. Can Hepburn get it going before Brucey gets there? It looks like he's going to. But he's low on fuel. Brucey's low on fuel. So I think uh, Hepburn is probably going to get fourth here. Brucey can't really do anything. He hasn't got the fuel to. James is low on the fuel. We'll go to the leaders though because I do believe this may be the final lap for somebody. I think the Crow's going to get an extra lap. It's going to be close. Is he going to get it? He does. White shot. Jim finishes in second. James finishes in third. Then we've got Hepburn. He's going to come over the line in fourth place. Brucey in fifth. Ice Minaldo in sixth. Then we got B rated seventh. Chalky in down to eighth place after that incident. And that going Brownie in ninth. JLC in tenth. Good recovery drive from him after that first second lap incident. Eleventh is Raffo. Schumacher twelfth. Rico thirteenth. AG is going to come on in fourteenth. Didn't really recover. Outdoors decided not to drive to the last to the line. He's going to finish in fifteenth. Unlucky, uh, unlucky race for him. But the leader, the guy decides to pit first, the Crow, the Crow is struck. And he's in first place and he's going to win this race. He's low on fuel but it doesn't matter, there's nobody else on track, nobody else to try and battle him. He's going to come home and take the win, he's got a victory lap, the only person to make it onto lap 15. Absolutely great race at the end there, shame about the contact between Chalky and uh, Chalky and Hepburn but James managed to get that third place then managed to get the last podium spot after that incident and Brucey got up into fifth so he got a free position but very uh, very unlucky for Chalky there not sure whether that'll be a look at the stewards but it is what it is and the race ends we don't get to see the final lap and him coming over the line unfortunately for the pro but absolutely terrific racing then from Tokyo I've been the Crazy Brit. Hope you liked it. I shall see you next week. Uh, next week we've got Tri Mountain and then we have uh, Interlagos, so that should be interesting. Uh, hopefully, no incidents, no collisions, especially on the, uh, the first laps. But until then, I've been the Crazy Brit. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.